Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Endless Legend. I played Endless Space 2 recently, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I really miss Endless Legend, I think, even more so than uh, than Endless Space. I like the uh, hex-based uh, map building. There's, there's something about it that just really appeals to me. Uh, much more nitty-gritty land customization, territory control, and whatnot. So, uh, we're going to dive in and play a little bit of it. And I'm going to be playing as the Broken Lords, except for I made a modified version of them called the Even More Broken Lords, which I think maximizes the amount of perks you can possibly have on them. I didn't min-max too hard, I just added a bunch of positives so we can move around during winter, which uh, usually slows you down pretty hard. So the Broken Lords are, well, I guess we're probably going to have a, uh, a nice little intro cinematic actually explaining who they are. Uh, but they're spirits bound to armor, and they don't eat, but they need a lot of money, so we're going to win... Probably with money or something. We were different once. We fought, drank, and loved as mortal beings. But our world changed and we faced a stark choice. Alter our bodies or perish. Yet survival is not the same as life. Now we are prisoners of the armor that binds us and the dust that sustains us. We must drain dust. Drain energy, or die. Where is our honor now, Lords of the Amber Plains? And what matters more? To reclaim our honor, or sustain our bodies? Okay, so that was the actual cutscene we were supposed to see. Apparently, if you pick a custom faction, you don't get the cool story. So I guess we're just going to roll without the custom faction abilities. Anywho, uh, let's see. So where are we at? We are here. Ick. I mean, maybe it's fine. Let me remember how to play this a little bit. Okay, so that turns on the hexes. We don't want that. What we want is this. So the Broken Lord's main feature is that uh, they don't deal with food. Food is irrelevant to them. And I think it doesn't even show up on my tiles. Uh, instead, what we do is we use, um... Oh, we haven't actually settled yet. That's good. Okay, we might as well search this for a moment. Uh, what we want to do is find an area that has a ton of dust, because otherwise we're not going to be able to grow our population or build much of anything. So, uh, we started next to a rune, so I might as well take a look at it. New quest added, Legends of Old. Archaeological pieces deciphered by some of the Empire's most... Foremost authorities on the Endless have revealed something most intriguing and tempting. This suggests that the impenetrable security systems guarding a rare Endless artifact on Regan runes will be disabled for a fixed period of time. That's the good news. Bad news is the evidence is ambiguous as in regards to its exact location, with two sides being prime candidates. Worse, the wrong side is most likely to trigger aggressive defense forces if activated. So, 20 turns, explore the correct rune, and get the one I want. And this will give me the Eye of Hernus, which is a... An accessory that can be equipped on a hero. Uh, so it wants me to check out one of, I don't know, like two-ish runes. So, like I said, I'm not too keen on this territory. Uh, you know what? I'm wrong. This is actually pretty good territory. If I'm not mistaken, we have luxury goods. We have an amount of unique terrain that is getting us extra money. And we've got titanium. So I think what we want to do is probably set up in this area and actually live here. The best the best territory for this faction is the desert. Desert always has the most amount of dust. However, because of stuff like escaped specimens and whatnot. Uh, yeah, four extra. We can get a decent amount out of this one. So I'm going to have the settler. Let's see. Can I create... I want to do this. Transfer to a nearby army. Okay, so the settlers split off and has become their own thing. Do you want to go here or here? I think my people are going to be happier here. 12, 6, 8, and 10 happiness. I'm not sure where the happiness is coming from. But yeah, let's get that set up. So, unlike Endless Space 2, if you caught my previ previous coverage of that, uh, every ma the map is split up into a bunch of districts. So, this is effectively my settled district now. It looks like we might have access to some level of ocean as well. Uh, but this is my territory. Nobody can settle in it, uh, except for the, the Magtai, which are a minor faction that I can interact with in various ways. Eventually, you can like do a quest and recruit them. 
I don't know, I don't remember exactly what is required to do that, but instead so we're going to go check out this rune for the time being. I'll leave the minor factions for later. I think we have to do diplomacy stuff. All right, and we have a rumbler. So, uh, I could actually do manual tactics here. We'll do one fight. I only va vaguely remember how to do the combat system in this one, because I'll admit it's kind of slow. Uh, so I have, let's see, deployment. I mean, we might as well just get up and in there. No reason to split off. Oh, oh, we have these guys. I forgot about these guys. Oh, these are militia from my city, which are fine. If I remember right, this kind of just sports tactics. You don't really have too much fine-tuned control, at least at this stage, but that's fine. Yeah, usually I just let the bot battles go on auto, because uh, they take a while. But it is neat that you can actually like manually control these things, and I'm sure tactics matter. I usually just auto-calculate because speed and time. Yeah, there's not really much for me to do here, apart from just let my guys fight. So the one immediate problem that I do have with fighting uh, enemies like this is uh, my guys don't heal automatically. I am going to have to spend money to get them back up. But I think it's worth it. Plus, this gets us some early experience, which is useful. Ooh. That was a miserable little round there. In my own time, I've been playing a little bit of Unicorn Overlord, and I'm really into that combat system, and I'm very much hoping to see more games like it. I like these systems where it's like you have finer tuned control of like who you target and what, but some part of me is just happier when I'm playing a game where longer combat systems go automatically, and admittedly, like this is pretty fast. I really don't have to worry too much about it. And there's not a whole lot of tactical depth to, co to my current strategy. It's mostly just let my guys surround them and beat them to death. Is that it? All right, we're good. Yeah, so I'll probably auto through most of the other fights just because. So yeah, we took a little bit of damage. I'll have to heal him up, but that's fine. So we also have, oh, Legends of Old. We know about that one. Oh, so our, our main quest hasn't shown up yet. Nope. Guess not. Maybe it'll show up next round or something. All right. Nothing of interest at this location. So that must be the other one then? I guess I'll tell them to go down there. Oh, right. I actually have things to do. Management and whatnot. So... A uh, couple of things that I can do. So we can do Founders Memorial, which is just a little bit of everything, which isn't terrible. The Empire Mint, which gets us money. Decent amount, too. 75, 60. There's also, like, the Museum of Riga, which is, uh, I think, one of two wonders? Are both of these wonders? No, this is this is a wonder. Uh, so that gets us extra happiness, extra money, extra science, and also reduces cost reduction on Empire Approval. Happy. Interesting. We can also build burrows, but we have to have uh, more people to do so. The way burrows work is you can actually put districts on each of these tiles, and they will exploit more resources on the map, and then also let you, say, level up things. Uh, so if you notice, it said, like, per level of the Museum of Ariga. So I could put it here, and if I surround it, it levels up to level two. And then you keep surrounding it until it's like level three. I don't know if it goes beyond that. So the big question I have at the moment is, how do I buy people? Because I can do that. Ah, cannot afford the 52 needed for this population increase. How much money do I have? Actually, a decent amount. I think I actually want to go for the Empire Mint first. Go with that, because we want to scale up our population. 
uh, pretty quickly so I can actually expand and grab a bunch of things. Uh, we should also prep around the idea of, of potentially... Let's see. Uh, prep around the idea of potentially putting down the altar... Well, the altar of Ariga, yeah. But especially the museum. The altar actually isn't that amazing, is the one thing I will say. Also it requires pearls, which we don't have. So, next up, we want to do research. Uh, which of these gets me titanium? This one? Yes. So we want to snag that. I don't know if we have any luxury resources. Let's just snag those for the time being. And I would love it if they made a second one of these. I know they made humanity, but that game never appealed to me. It very much felt like they were just trying to make uh, their own civilization. And they already had Endless Legend, which felt just so much better to me. Maybe I'm being too dismissive. I think humanity was fine. I just, I'm so much more invested in this. Okay. So, new beginning. The quakes and fires appear to be over. We lost a city and are now homeless, but we are strong and remain unbowed. The first step is to secure, secure our new home. To found a city, build an army, and explore the ancient places. Her experience tells us this. If it tells us nothing else, the ancient runes scattered across the map are places of great knowledge, with great wealth and danger. For all those reasons, we must explore and exploit them. With caution, however, any place of great value will be guarded by creatures of great strength. We must not forget this. Exploration will also take their mind off of our condition, and this, and this new method for dealing with it. Dust is expensive and difficult to exploit. But this new way, this draining of living souls to sustain our own farms, it goes against who we are. It violates our principles, our honor. It is everything we've been fighting against. And yet, it is easy. Okay, build an army, explore. Escort a Broken Lord's hero with at least three infantry units to inspect the Temple Ruins. So we want to go there. We already have two infantry, so we actually just need one more. And I can work on that. I'll put it on the list. We're going to need a decent amount of money to be able to do like half the stuff I want to do. Okay. And this also lets us build a burrow. So this would increase our industry and money by five. Would get us some science, which isn't a terrible idea. Industry. Hmm. So that probably gets us the most. It's not a terrible idea. Burrows, burrows are expensive. Well. Let's just move around. We have the new quest. Don't think there's too much else for me to do. I forget how you interact with minor factions, to be honest. It's been a time. I know you eventually can do, like, quests with them and stuff. That's manage units. That's heroes. He's wounded. I forget. 39 to heal him. Uh, let's see. Nope, doesn't look like any of these things. It's fine. We'll just keep exploring and finding stuff. And if we're lucky, hey, This actually would have been a really good spot to set up as well. It's fine. Okay, two more turns. Grab this. Oh, right, I should have checked. Yes, they're on industry. Oh, production per worker. Okay, so it's four. Okay, let's reveal these runes. 17 turns. Oh, the archaeologists were right. The artifact was a sight to behold. The craftsmanship otherworldly and soon. No no doubt likely to be adorning one very privileged individual. Unfortunately, it just gives extra initiative, which is okay. Uh, let's see. Let's... Oh, we didn't actually end up exploring those runes, did we? Well, it's fine. Get 40 dust. And I guess we're just going to go back. And now because I have that 40 dust, oh, population, it gets more expensive. Eh, we'll just spend time. I don't have to do too much of anything. Oops. Got some stuff. Built the mint. Finished science, so we now have the alchemist furnace, which is useful. Because that gets us the titanium ex extractor. They're, ex they're expensive. Yeah, do I go with this this path? Yeah. 
I think so. Might as well finish our quest. I usually don't go for the, the like, main quest line. For each faction. I think I'm... It's not, like, truly intentional that I'm, I'm trying to skip it. It's just a matter of, like, got other things to do. And also, some of the quests become... Good. Dang near impossible to actually complete. Yeah, maybe I should have actually set up on the north end. Yeah, look at that plane. Then again, I'm planning on expanding this area because I can get it to the point where I'm getting like plus five or ten per plane tile. Okay, anything else really? No. So if I can get this one guy down here, we can complete a new beginning. I don't know what our rewards are for completing the quest. Oh, does it actually tell you? No, I have no idea. I don't know if those those bars are like, hey, this is... Oh, hey, we can get another person. Um, I don't know if those bars specifically indicate that, like... This is how far along you are on the quest line. Okay, so we want to make a new army. Bring them downwards. We'll just keep checking out other runes. They also get us experience, and if my units level up, they get stronger. And at some point, I'll probably get a settler down here, just because we want glass steel, just as much as we want titanium. Well, ideally, we want to be harvesting decent amounts of both. Okay. So we've also found those. I forget. It might actually be one of those where you have to just fight them. Okay. Anything else? No. Spend one more turn, then we'll figure out what we're doing. Because I usually like to go... Towards wonders. Ooh. We are on a river. So actually, the dust dredger might be a really good idea. Is it better than the borough streets, though? I have no idea. And I could also buy this. How much do I need for the next bit of population? Because I need the titanium extractor, but I don't need it until we have glass steel as well. Otherwise, it's kind of functionally useless to me. Actually, I'm going to... Where are we building? Okay, we are building in the correct direction for the borough streets. Because I want to go up this direction. Because that's a lot of dust there, and I forgot you get a lot of dust off of water, too. That's fine. Okay. I'll just bring them there. Okay. The door remains closed, and the mechanism requires quantities of dust to open. Gather 80, try it again. Okay, defeat the army protecting the runes. Ah, it's just riders. I'm just gonna put it on auto this time around. Okay, so we get an archaeologist. Research cost reduction for Era 1 technologies. Ooh, that's useful. So you, uh, you unearthed an endless artifact. It's in poor condition. It appears to be part of a larger construction. The question now is how to restore it. And research a bunch of tech. And get more titanium. The nobles are unhappy. I understand their reasoning. We try to rebuild our nation and survive the changes in our planet. But the exploitation of dust is slow and expensive. To simply leech from others is fast, easy, and gives one a feeling of power. It's a heady thrill that gives sensations of virility and perception, almost invincibility. Marquis Saluzo is perhaps the worst. Though all nobles and fanatics seek ancient relics to give them power, the bauble that the Marquis has found has given him great strength of persuasion and an enhanced ability to drain life. His speeches make it all seem all too easy, exploit the lesser peoples for our own glory, rule the planet from a position of strength, and turn those who would defy us into weakened slaves. But I, I cannot ac accept this. It is expedient, and that does not make it but that does not make it just or right. Sadly, my hand has been forced, and I have little choice. But to let the sages and alchemists study, seeking an answer that is pleasing to their greedy patrons, we will forge ahead with research and improve our knowledge. Though I do it for other reasons, for my part, I would see our people resist temptation, even if it presents a risk. 
There's a reason the first word of the royal seal is honor. And then we can also search it again because that was a quest location. All right, let's go up this direction. Ah, he's also ranked up. So we can increase defense on hero. We can improve our looting chances or we can make him a better administrator. Yeah, what is class? Is it infantry? I don't know. I know there are better administrators, maybe, that I could potentially grab. I'm going to close this for a second. Let's go to the academy. Ah, cannot buy your heroes yet. We've got to get the marketplace. Oh, it's parlay and bribe. Let's see. I forget which one of these is the marketplace. I thought it was here. I thought it was one of these. There it is, mercenary market. We need all of those. We don't have enough money yet. I think I'm going to just have this guy be our fighter. He's kind of freaky looking anyway. Uh, let's see. So why don't, we, why don't we get him something in the skill tree? Probably up this direction, which is the most useful. Defense. I like the experience per turn on units. Yeah, so why don't why don't we just go up? Grab those. Grab the experience per turn. That way all of my guys will get hopefully stronger. Let's see. Search. Get some more dust. Because yeah, what level are they? It takes 40, so it's gonna take a while before they get enough experience to really get anywhere. But if I can get him up even higher, that'll get fast, and we'll just use him as the training lord or something. Okay, anything else? No. And we need 175. To buy our next person. Do we want to grab anything else? No. Titanium extractor soon. And you know what? I will build a settler. Because we need to get glass steel ASAP. I might get lucky and just find some of the runes. But it seems to mostly just be dust. Okay. Anything else? Do I actually want to get the settler before the borough streets? No. No, we want we want our home to be reasonably powerful. And anything and everything I can do to scale that up faster makes a lot of sense. Let's see. Empire plan will be available soon. Unfortunately, you know, I don't actually remember how that works. I think it's good bonuses, but I, I need a lot more influence than I'm currently generating to actually do much meaningful with it. Can I build build the mill foundry? Cause that, or can I buy it? One seventy eight. No, let's just go for the population. Uh, let's see. Oh, can be used as a resource extractor. I actually don't think I ever paid attention to that as like a thing that I could do. And yeah, we'll probably want to take a number of these territories. I'll probably put most of my cities along the water just for the biggest bonuses, though along river is also a good plan. Also, we have seem to have stumbled upon the edges of somebody else's territory. Okay, uh, anything else? No. I think we could we just keep passing turns. 
I do like... I think the other reason why I like the hex map is it feels like I'm always kind of doing something. Uh, Star Lanes and Endless Space 2, nice as they are, uh, present some issues. All right, let's go make some friends or not so friends. Okay, well, we get the five... We get five glass steel. Unfortunately, I think... I only need five. Heck yeah. Okay, so how long is this going to take? A long time. So I think I'm going to do... Mill Foundry first, and then the Museum of Auriga. How much money do I need to insta-buy it? Well, I'm actually going to spend the money just to get that a little faster. Let's see if we can meet our neighbor. We're lucky they're a pushover. Or friendly. Looks like they already beat up their minor faction. That's usually a bad sign. Okay, so... This is Empire de uh, Development, so I can get extra money per person on cities, extra science on cities, vision on units, or unit cost reduction on cities. Let's just do economy and population. It's going to cost me 20, but I think it's worth it. If I take these people off, how much longer is that going to take? Oh, the you know what? The Empire plan, I don't think, has been triggered until next... Uh, it hasn't been triggered this turn. So I think we have a moment. They seem to be down here. I'll probably bring my guys back and explore the rest of this zone. Maybe. Okay, so we can do an emerald booster, fortification, or spices. Both of which are not that helpful on me. Pacify eight villages to get tactical training, which is, it's good. I could have been working on that. Dang, they have both titanium and glass steel, lucky ducks. I might too, actually. I haven't really tested that. Okay, what do we need for this one? 239. I could get some other stuff, but I want to get the museum. I always rush the first wonder. It's Probably not as worth my time as I make it out to be. Okay, Dust Eclipse. This is new. Twilight of Shimmering Light and Sparkling Dust. What, a sor what sorcery causes this summer phenomenon is only known to a few, but none are immune to its mysterious effects. Dust blizzards blow over Auriga. Strange dust activity in temple runes. Dust confluxes emanate from the land, granting experience and temporary boost to armies collecting them. Soul burn. During Eclipse... Is units and heroes gain new army action, soul burn that greatly boosts their attack at the expense of their health. Huh. Well, that's new. Nourishing Conflux. Was that Dust Blizzard? Okay. So it's a bonus. I thought I spotted another one of the orbs. I did not. So is it these? Oh, it is these guys. So I guess we do know about them. Okay. Compliment. Oh, declare a compliment. And I guess they'll get out of their territory, but because they're probably going to just get grumpy. And we've leveled up automatically. I'm still thinking probably just getting the experience gain is the way to go. Okay, so it's seven turns. But if I do that... 
22 to 55. How much longer does this take the Museum of Riga? It's probably worth spending the money. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Because the more money we have, the more people we can buy. Oh. We see that your troops... We see that your troops in our territory pay us a visit. visit. Exchange is one way to further the goals of peace. Please see to it that they stay friendly. I mean, plan was actually to head over here. Did the runes get reactivated? It looks like they did. And there's the Sisters of Mercy. Amusingly, the Sisters of Mercy uh, actually uh, survive into Endless Space 2. They hitch a ride with the vaulters and, and don't get left behind. I was going to buy another person. I think I got it done before it triggered. I could be wrong. Yeah. I still think the money is probably the way to go. My hope is that none of my opponents are currently rushing the museum like I am. Because it still would have taken a while for them to get enough glass steel and titanium. I hope. Okay, so what else can we get? 75 dust. Eclipse search. Oh. Okay, because the eclipse is going on, they're even more lucrative than normal. So what do we need for the next one? 306. So next turn. Do I want to save up to boost this one? 575. So I might actually be able to buy it out right if I wait, which might be more practical. Okay, next is search party. Oh, that's just better runes exploration. Yeah, instead of buying the person, maybe I buy the um Maybe I buy the wonder. It's not often I buy wonders in these games. They're usually expensive. It feels like everything goes a little faster in Endless Legend as well. But that might just be my own flawed perception. Well, buy it outright for 390? Absolutely. Now, now I don't have to worry about anybody stealing it from me, and I can go back to doing what must be done, which is a massive financial boons. Okay, so that gives us a big bonus when my people are happy. I do have to keep them happy, though. And that's the end of the eclipse. Strategic boost facility. Whoa. Okay, return of the Urkons. This is new. Ancient Urkon beasts are stirring. As violent tremors shake the ground, frightened surface dwellers whisper that the fabled creatures may be more than just myths. Soon one will break through the crust, bringing a threat and an opportunity for all of Uriga's races. So that might actually be something I can interact with. Am I closer to the sea than I thought I was? Suppose I am. So I could actually move over here and get a bunch of dust as well. Um, which I'll probably want to do. I think for now, we're just going to scale my population really hard. And really just get this one district to be big. Kind of. Let's see, that settler is expensive. Well, it's fine. Oh, it was a winter. 
Okay, so that kicks us back a little bit. Well, not too much. So we can move over here. Yeah, I definitely remember having food issues during the winters in these games. Okay, there's boosters and hello. Untamed Archons move between neutral regions they control every once in a while, spawning roaming armies of lice every so often. Archons can be tamed either by combat or feeding them with specific luxury resources. Once tamed, they grant luxury and strategic resources to the region they control. Can be re relocated or switched to an, into their army form. The Urkon training screen, accessible from the Urkon on the map, gives them access to new powers to unlock. What? Is that the Urkon? Okay. 838.92. What's my dude at? <laughs> Comically weak compared to that. Okay, so we get a pearl, and I think I saw another one down here. Unfortunately, chances of getting more low. Okay, what else do we want to grab? Bonus to train with science. You know what? I'm going to move to that at the bottom. Not even sure if I really care for the... Oh, but does reduce city upkeep. Maybe. I think this is worth it. And it's only 178. Or I could buy another person. Okay, so Altar of Ariga, extra happiness per level. So that isn't a terrible idea. Question is, what do I do? You know what? I think I'm actually just going to fight these guys. Then we can continue on our way. Because this way I can get Magate. And we can get the Altar of Riga. So I could put it here. Because ideally we're, ideally, we're kind of trying to get out into the plains. And it gets us extra, extra happiness, which gets us extra boosts. Uh, yeah. I think this is still kind of the way. At least for now. Uh, let's see. Anything else? No. The Burrow Streets, though. Let's let's scoot that down to the bottom. We're gonna need a lot of other things first, and this goes much faster. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do too much financially. Well, I can. So, search party in improves our chances at runes, and we've got it. Our baser nature, mysteries of the planet's pa past, likely give us keys to your future. Improve your scientific knowledge to help decrypt them. So 12 technologies in era one. Oh boy. Well, that's fine. I was not expecting such a science boost. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're mostly just passing the time while we wait. At least my guys are leveling up. Yeah, I guess the other option... Ooh, is this... This is not that expensive. I think I'll actually buy the Magte. Because that gets us an extra population. I totally forgot you could actually just fight them. Oh, I thought I thought I saw a pearl here. I suppose not, but we should go fight that dude. And then we got the settler down? Yeah. Okay, so where do we want to go? Haven't seen a whole lot of glass steel with other good 
resources. Uh, let's see. Settler, new army. I think I'm just going to bring him down here. The main question is, which of these has the best... stats? Pretty much, like, right around here-ish. I guess I could put it on the ruby cactus fields. Or actually, even better, why don't I just put it on the glass steel? It saves us from having to build the extractor, though it does hold, hold it back. Because... Okay, an altar of Riga has to be built before you can actually use pearls, which we didn't really get too many of. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them right here. Yeah, it should be good. And yeah, do we want to just go fight the Ursies? Nah. Oh, we can still find some pearls around. I forgot they don't just go away. Or maybe they do. That one did. Alright. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Morlanac? Oh, Morlanac needs things. I could have it go automatically, but that sucks. Let's just get the glass steel extractor out kind of quickly. The mint up. Well, do we? Do we actually just buy it? I think we do. Let's see, train with science, flat science on city. We'll just build a couple of these. I mostly wanted this town with the express purpose of just getting the glass steel so we have base tech that I can work with. Probably should have bought them. The mill foundry in retrospect. I mean, it's cheap as heck, so sure. Let's just spend a bunch of money and buy everything we can. Okay. Within five turns, search for a relic of the unspoiled runes, illuminated by rays of dust. Excuse me. Probably heading that direction. I'm pretty sure the upper direction just brings me into the water, and that's bad. Okay, so I think we also just got the mercenary market, and we are in a new research era. Which gives us some options. We also have Majestic Creatures defeat the Sky Fin in that location. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it there. It's too long of a walk. Okay. Do we want to do building production cost reduction? That's very expensive. Whereas I can easily just go for money per person. Let's just go for, for that for now. Eventually I'm going to have to work my way up. Okay, so parley on the Empire. Happiness on City. I think I'm going to skip a cu couple of these. Let's see. I guess we might as well take a look at finances more than anything else. Unit buyout, building buyout reduction. So both of those are actually really good for me. I think we want roads. And we'll want ships. Um, probably go for that. Do we even want this? No. Let's go. Let's go with this path. Get some of that industry down ASAP.
Anything else? No, we're just progressing. Yeah, since we're in the woods, we might as well go for the industry bonus in the woods. Because that'll probably boost my production levels pretty tremendously. Oh, right, I forgot you can build watchtowers. I always forget about that. I don't remember. Oh, it's a tech that I have to get. I'm pretty sure. Let's see, what's the other one? Do we want to get... How much to buy population on this city? You know, honestly, I think it's better financially for me to just buy a bunch of these basic buildings. Probably should have done that here, too. Oh. It gets them up to speed. And we're going to want them as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we get Break Wall, which is a really good shield for this early in the game. And then I can search it again. We can get the Shard of Icarel. Whoa, okay. Uh, so we have Legend of Three. So search the temple runes revealed by the rays of dust with a strong infantry hero. Level four minimum. I think we're there. If we're not there, we're getting there. So we'll grab this pearl. Forget. Uh, let's see, where's my where's my empire screen? Is it this one? No, that's quest journal. I thought it was uh, it wasn't this one. I swear, oh, we could actually assimilate this one. Nah, don't care for the mag day. So we can spend spice if we want to, but that's useless. I forget how to check empire approval status value. I don't remember if there is expansion limitations. And he should now be the correct level. Let's just go for a three experience per turn. Still cannot travel. Okay. It's gonna keep telling me about my boosts that I could. That I could buy, but I don't want to. Ooh, industrial mega pole. Unfortunately, I need way more glass steel than I currently have. Army hit while traveling. Uh? Oh, they just took a little bit of damage. Might be the fact that they're walking on lava. Or something else entirely. Either way, I think we want to start heading down that direction. What do I need for another settler? A little while. I think it also costs me one of my population every time I put one out. So that is something to consider. Might not be a bad idea to specifically use Mor Morlanac for that instead. Keep Serata flush with people. Is going to take them longer, though. They don't have the bonuses. I guess let's see about Borough Streets. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, da, 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 da. And I think our biggest means of solving all of these problems is to just chuck endless money at my problems. Because who cares if I have any level of industry when I can just buy it? Let's see, and that pearl sticking around. Did I? Oh, I guess I have a couple of pearls. Eh, later. Resource per pacified and rebuilt Dorgeshi village. So that one's actually really useful. But at some point, I'm probably going to have to go to war with my neighbors just to be able to take some of these things and own them for myself. Let's take a look at you. 
Alter Variga is going to take a little while. We could just buy another person. Let's just scale our population, possibly in both cities. Yeah, that's the trick. Eventually, that's going to get even nuttier, I think. All right, search it. Oh, with only two units and a hero equipped with the shard of Icarel. Search the initial one and prepare for trouble. Well, we can't do that at the moment. 70 dust, head there. How are we doing? Kind of fine. We are going to have to spend some money on healing this sucker. I did not realize how wounded he was. And we found the weird, like, bat people with their, like, floating wing things. They're fun. I should give them another shot at some point. Okay, so if we go back here, 10 heroes available for sale. They're pricey. So what I'm probably going to want to do, I think we are going to want one of the de dust lords just because they give big bonuses to money. Do they? Yeah, 45% is pretty good. Yeah, so we have class. None of these are like finances. All of their classes are for combat for the most part. I forget. Yeah, because we don't want empty belly. He's food, so we don't really want him at all. Food and happiness, but eh. And then he's still a dragon. If I remember right, the cultists were kind of funny. They're actually pretty good. Actually, the cultist is really good. Because they get a universal boost to everything, which is okay. They get a big science boost and influence boost and dust boost. Compared to Daval, who is the yeah, resource boost to land. Eh, terrain with us, like they're all they're good. They're both good. I'll probably go for my own guy first. I think these guys are kind of weird. Yeah, volcanic. I've never played as the Kapaku. I actually forgot they were a playable faction entirely. Because I've just never paid attention to them. And then we have, like, these guys, but they're they're heavy food and, like, slavery-related, which I'm not really messing with. So better to just pass the time. Okay. Altar of Riga built, so we can go here and we can buy a thing. So we can create stockpiles for resources. We can... Immunity to winter vision penalty on city and regional buildings, or Tower of Truth, vision on defensive tower, fortification defense on defensive tower. Hmm. I'm probably going to go with the Nyctalopian? Nyctalopian lenses more than anything else. Though I don't have enough pearls. So be it. We'll get more. One of the armies roaming in of Varama has treasure that you seek. Find it. Navrama. Navrama. Find it, destroy it, destroy it, it can be ours. Okay, 717 to build that lad. Ouch. Probably take a look at this one. So they're building a couple of these. Do we want to the sewer system? Yeah. I think I'll sewer things up first. But I should probably save up. A lance or pearls do not ravage Mother Ariga. I don't think I grabbed their pearls. 
Ooh. Navrama, though. It's got a couple of luxury goods that are worth potentially going for. Okay, train with forest and on exploitation. We want both of those. And they are pricey. But we kind of knew that. So let's just get more people for now. More people, more money. Okay, kill more lice than any other empires. Okay, so that's something we need to concern ourselves with. Well, they're not fighting me yet. That's a lot of lice there. We might have to consider that. Okay, the Urkons, Kazar, Chaka, and Fa Fakir have risen from the depths of the earth, making the ground quake with their every stride. Uh, it's, and striking fear into hearts of every Regan, their minions, the aggressive life that emerged with them, are terrorizing ordinary folk and threatening to run rampage over the entire land. All empires have agreed that this infestation needs a collective response and have committed to eliminating as many lice as they can. As a reward to encourage participation in the hunt, the empires have agreed that the empire with the best number of kills will enjoy a handsome bounty. Ooh. Okay, so for starters, let's heal up. Uh, let's heal all. So it's one of these two groups. I don't know if they're going to fight me. At least not willingly. Well, they might. We should get probably a, a bishop up in this mix, though. Because I think they give us passive healing, which uh, saves some money. Damn it. The one problem is they're centaurs. They're faster than me. Stop waddling around. I need to fight you. Thank you. It's like a mouse, as they say with mouse traps, it's often the second mouse that gets the cheese. Oh, ring of unnatural hunger. Ooh, get some regeneration. Problem is we don't have access to that resource yet. So we're slightly out of luck there. How much do I need for that? Eh, it's not too long. And there's Fakir. As, oh, are they just warping around? I suppose they are. Okay, let's just buy that one out, right? Auto fight. Yeah, we don't want to lose any of our guys. That is pricey. Yeah, I'd like to get all of my units some level of regeneration. Well, do we want to go back? Let's go back. I think we've gotten enough kind of loot and exploration. There's more I could do, but we get experience per turn. Okay, so what else do we have? Train with industry during summer. Industry per person, which is okay. And I need to expand to the point where I can actually exploit the Seer Lake. Yeah, we're close. Kind of. Anything else? No. I think we're just passing the time now. Unfortunately, spices are not a particularly good luxury resource. I just realized we never got the tech for exploiting minor resources, did we? Oops. Well, let's just put that on the list. I just took it for granted. I guess I could build a Burrow Street on it. Oh, it's the lice. I was wondering about that. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to find enough. There isn't a whole lot on my lands. Let's see, who are these guys? The Urses. To heal him up. But we don't have enough. Because healing costs resources. Do we want to just buy this dude? Yes. Let's see. 
Do we want any of these? Train industry during summer. It's an option. I think I don't want to spend too much money on it. Instead, I want to potentially get the industrial megapole. Where do I put it? Because I could put it here, it would instantly be level 2. Let me take a look at it. Thing is, I'm probably going to want to be out here. That would get us a lot of dust. I mean, this isn't terrible. I'll put it there. Okay, industrial megapole is a little expensive. Okay, anything else? No. How much how much is it gonna cost? 3,000. Ouch. It's I mean, realistically, it's not that bad. Okay, and we've got another dust thing going on. Where's my... There's my dude. Do we fight the Ursies? Sure. Are you... Wait. Are you kidding me? Okay. It was... It should have been this turn. Why was the settler part of the reinforcements? Uh. <laughs> I was even in combat. Why is that an option? <laughs> it's fine. I should have been paying attention. I just... I, it just didn't... Ha. Uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, we're where we left off. So here's the question. Where do we want to go? I guess actually... Let's turn this back on, which gives us a lot of money. I actually really like this area. Like right, right up in here. Okay, so we're going to new army with the settler. It's gonna take him a couple of turns to get up there, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, so let's attack. And we are not including the Settler this time around, because why the hell was that even an option? And yeah, let's just head over here so we can take out these Driders so they're not in my way. Let's see, what else do we do? Because I want to buy the canal system. Alright, at some point we'll have to worry about spies. Because, yeah, there's a whole faction that's big on spies. Okay, let's turn the settler off. Okay, so Screaming Mask Boy. Ooh, cost of the... Reduces the cost of instant healing. It's tempting. Attack on units when involved in a siege. Extra fortification. So that's... This is more defensive. Let's see, security on the city. Reduced military upkeep. Ideally, what we want to do is actually get up to this one. What's the fastest way for me to do that? One, two, three, four, five, eh. One, two, three, four. So yeah, we're just, we're just gonna scoot up. I don't know what the no negative effects from winter does. I think that's the city. No, it says army, too. Oh, you know what I should do financially? More than anything else, we want to buy a hero. Oh, what about this one? Science, science, attack, expansion, disapproval, received on city. So they're kind of good. But no, I, th I think we just want this guy. Go 
Because we should probably get a governor at this point. How do I... How do I assign? Ah, no hero assign. Assign hero. I like it how it's just the same man. We cloned him. Here's the other thing. I think if we check his skill tree... Oh, he has no skill points left. Okay. Let's take a look at his equipment system. So, ultimately, I don't think I want too many of these. But I know there are some. Yeah, is this one. Glass Steel Tome. Oh, you know what? We can't afford it yet. It's fine. Let's take a look at this guy, though. Because I think I can modify his equipment. We can't buy anything with Glass Steel. However, we can do this. Army Damage Boost. 4 damage to army, 5 damage to army. I think that's worth it. Improve damage. Because, yeah, we can, we can spend a little bit of money on kitting this guy out. Should probably give him the quest shield. Otherwise, we wait a little bit. Let's actually just wait a little bit. We'll have... We can get this T2 tech. Because all chemical armor will give us exactly what we need fairly soon. Okay. Fight the Driders. Take him out. All right, head down here. Well, I was ready for assignment, but I think I already assigned him, yeah? Yeah. So unless I'm mistaken, this should still be moving? Yeah. And hopefully there's nobody that's going to attack him on his way up. Okay, so Imperial Highways. Roads are automatically created between cities and adjacent regions. Proves the roads into paved roads. And then we can also build watchtowers. And another Urkon emerges. Oh, it's Gazar, and he's got some lights right there. And we get some Palladian. Okay, I don't think we can do anything else. I forgot. Oh, we can modify these guys. Yeah, I can make them more expensive if I want to. I have some more influence points, too. So I could specifically... Yeah, let's spend a little bit more. Actually, take a look at Morlanac, because we should probably build Saratan here just for the extra population, and let's see, right away. That's going to take a long time. Get a watchtower. Okay. How are we doing on this one? Industrial Megapole is... We've barely even started. I was busy with other things. I think we're still fine. It takes a little bit of doing to get there. But I might just have to cliffhanger us. Because we've got a lot to do. And it's going to take... Uh, it's going to take a reasonable amount of time to actually complete it. But not that much. And boy, it's going to be worth it once we get there. How much faster does this go? Four turns faster. My main logic is, do we buy it outright? I think we do. The The money differential is just too high. Alright, do we set up here? 
eight, nine. Mm, could go on the coast. Oh, if it's going to take one more turn, though. Nope, just setting up here. We'll just put a Burrow Street down. Both of those are going to be worth it. Uh, let's see, terrain with science? No. Science, libraries, sewer system, and glass deal. Admittedly, that does cut into our money, but it's fine. We'll make plenty. And at some point, I'll get Strahd. Or they'll kick us out of Strahd, and I'll be upset. Okay, recruit another hero to your ranks. And then we can get honorific tile, a title. Oh. Recruit another hero to your ranks by exploring the indicated runes, then X, X, oh, that, that one? Wounded a hero to the marked city. Uh, <laughs> that's a convenient little quest I've got there. All right. Well, why don't we complete that quest at the very least and we'll, we'll figure everything else out. Okay, so we now have the open pit mine. Excuse me. No. Fight me. Thank you. Might as well fight a couple of lice as we go by. Uh, it's, well, what was I what was I going to do? Right. We can potentially get a wine extractor at this point. How much does that cost? 137. I think I might just wait. I really should be putting most of my resources towards finishing this industrial megapole. Anyway, uh, gosh, I don't know if this video is going to go out sooner or later. I hope it's still, uh, I'll, I'll probably get it out before the Steam sale is over. I don't have a whole lot going on this, this, uh, month. So that gives me some kind of nice leeway here. Uh, but if you guys want to pick up Endless Legend, it's dirt cheap at the moment. I think it was like five, ten bucks, somewhere in there. I know the DLC adds extra, but I will say you don't really need to. Okay, I was wrong. Split the difference. It's seven fifty. I have no idea what the Definitive Edition bundle costs, unfortunately. A lot of the DLC adds some major features, but isn't really necessary. They did a lot of free patches over, over time. And it does look like most of the DLCs are like three-ish bucks. If you've ever been a fan of like 4X strategy games, games like um, Civilization or Stellaris, I highly recommend checking out Endless Legend or Endless Space 2, uh, as both are actually quite fantastic games. I don't actually know how reputable they are in the greater market, but I love them dearly. Uh, they're a bit slower, a little bit more methodical, and probably not as good for multiplayer. Um, but I love the setting and the world and the lore. And the fact that each race has their own story uh, that really does give them some personality. Like, there's there's nothing quite like them. And, uh, well, I've barely only scratched the surface. Did I, like, goof this quest? Helpless hero. Pin this one. I'm gonna hope I took the guy back. The problem is I seem I don't see him anywhere, so maybe we just have to end the turn. And he'll show up or something. Oh, there it is. We get a wounded hero. Once in the city, you can transfer the army to the hero or keep one turn in. After that, you'll have to wait several turns until the hero is healed and can be assigned. So I guess we're just gonna go get a random hero. Arla Sabor is injured. Oh, she's one of the uh, stealth ones. She's a forgotten. So, I forget what they're good at. Assignment cooldown, yeah, she's good at spying more than anything else. So that might be kind of fun. Confer stealth on all units of the army. Yeah. I'll have to look into that. For now, though, uh, I guess if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.